Mets hope to make the Stade saint saint forien a fortress in their battle to avoid a quick Ligue 2 return against an Angers side who managed just that last season. More than half of Sco's points came at home as Stéphane Moulon aimed to consolidate their top flight status this campaign. However, Angers are on a six-match losing streak stretching back to last season and Mets, with a stirring comeback win over Lille in week one, plan to take advantage of their visitors' poor form. Sko, though, fired a warning shot that they weren't going to be lambs to the slaughter. Just past the half-hour mark, Gilles Sunu with the dipping strike. Thomas de Dillon just doing enough. Metz's response came just before the break and floored Angers. Simon Fallet with a first ever league on goal. The 24-year-old defender showing his delight making a big impression since signing from Stade Bourret 3, 29. Was Renaud Coad with the sensational ball in. The former Saint-Étienne midfielder, another to make a big impression for Metz. Well, still time to return fire and certainly Angers not shy to strike from distance. Baptiste Santa Maria having his opportunity. With that going wide, Halftime whistle, Philippe Hinchberger, the happier of the two coaches. Angers' last win at Metz came in September 1979. They'd lost the last two visits over the next 37 years. Well, Moulin tried to put the wind back in the sails of his players, but while the build-up was good, they couldn't get the better of De Dillon, looking for his first clean sheet of the season. The ball in behind. The keeper... Standing up tall. Angers beginning to build pressure on the home side. Cher in Doi was frustrated to only gain a corner. The captain, nine goals last season as they finished a respectable ninth in the table. Still waiting to open his account to this campaign. Set pieces is where most of Sko's success came from last season, but it didn't appear to be their night. Pablo Martinez forcing it goalwards. But Metz's number one was in no mood to be beaten. Angers started to throw everything at their hosts. At this stage, there was only one team in it, but De Dillion stood firm. A deflection aiding the goalkeeper, taking the pace off the strike. Well, you know sometimes when it's just not your day. The ball whipped in, more of a cross than a shot, but the goalkeeper again showing he was alert. It was a great opportunity for Nicola Pepe, the youngster who shined at national level, almost making an instant impact. The goal scorer at Follette incredibly deflecting his brilliant volley off the crossbar. Well, to add insult to injury, Guido Milan finishing off for a 2 0 win. They were under an awful lot of pressure, but again, Coad with the delivery and a beautiful flick beating the goalkeeper. Well, Metz using Angers' tactics to similar success. Sko unable to make their 24 efforts on goal count as Metz' better conversion rate sealed a big three points.